In the journey of developing AI models, data collection is the foundation. The more data we gather, the more accurate and effective our models become. Whether we're training models to recognize patterns, predict outcomes, or detect objects, being able to visualize the data we're collecting is crucial. One way to do that is through small, efficient displays like this OLED screen. In many cases, like portable or DIY projects, we need to see real-time data on the go, and the OLED display makes that possible. It allows us to monitor sensor readings, progress, and output, helping ensure that we're gathering the right information before training our AI models. In this project, we'll learn how to connect and program a small, squarish I-square C-O-L-E-D display with the Raspberry Pi Pico to visualize data that will later be used for AI model training. We will need a Raspberry Pi Pico with header pins soldered, an OLED display, I-square C, smaller type, a few jumper wires, a breadboard, and a micro-USB cable for power, and connecting to a computer for programming. While working with displays, we discovered that a small OLED screen worked perfectly with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Compatibility issues were encountered with the larger OLED screen, like the 1.30 inches shown in the picture. By the way, OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. Before you begin wiring the OLED display to Raspberry Pi Pico, familiarize yourself with the pins on Raspberry Pi Pico. At this stage, you should only locate the four pins required to connect the OLED display. These are the 3.3 volts out pin, the ground or the GND pin and the SCL and SDA pins. Locate and identify all the pins on the display unit and wire up all connections as given in step two. You should use jumper wires to connect VCC on the display to the 3.3 volts on Raspberry Pi Pico, labelled as pin number 36, the ground of the OLED, to the ground of the Pico, marked as pin number 38, and then connect the SCL clock to the GP, 21 pin 27, and SDA of OLED to GP, 20 pin 26, on Raspberry Pi Pico. Make sure that all the connections are correctly wired before powering on the Raspberry Pi Pico. It is now time to install the OLED display library in Raspberry Pi Pico using the Thony IDE. The name of the library to search is SSD1306 and make sure that you install the MicroPython version. If you have successfully installed the library, you can try this simple code to display Hello from Gull on the small OLED screen. We initialize the I2C interface, define the display resolution, and send text to the display. You can type this code directly in Thony or in any other editor such as Notepad and save it as Hello from Gull.py. Upload the code to Thony IDE and run it to see the message on the little screen. This project introduces the basics of interfacing an OLED display with the Pico, while also laying the groundwork for future projects where the display will be used to show sensor data. You can download the code from the website URL, given in the comments section as well. Stay tuned for more to come.